Hi friends, Siddharth again. In today's video, I'll be telling about the various documents or the checklist of documents that will be used for Job Seekers Visa. If you are new to JSV or Germany Job Seekers Visa, I strongly recommend you please see this video completely because if you have got all these documents with you, then you are surely eligible to get a visa. Friends, if you simply Google uh, about Germany Job Seekers Visa checklist, I'll show it in computer right away. You'll straight away find a list of uh, documents which are required. Make sure that you search for uh, doc documents list only in within your country because uh, maybe sometimes Google may be showing you document list for other countries as well. So let's go through the checklist which is given in the website. So I'll simply go to the, uh, the official website of uh, Germany, uh, that is the uh, German embassy. And here is the checklist. Now, in this checklist, friends, there is a list of documents. Some 12 documents are required. However, in my experience, there are much more documents which will be required and you should have a hold of each and every one. These documents must be in English or in German language. Now, it so happened with me that uh, my, my, uh, my, some of my documents were not in English and uh, they were in a regional language. So I had to get them translated from an official uh, authority, maybe uh, maybe from German embassy also they do the, the translation job, else you have to get an English translated copy, uh, English translated original copy from the uh, uh, issuing authority. So make sure friends, your documents should be either in English or in German. Of course, in German there is little probability that your documents may be in German language if you have done your education or you are born in India. Uh, or in your home country, but just in case, if you are uh, in your, uh, your documents are in German, then you are good to go. So let's start one by one with uh, the checklist. So the first obvious document which will be required is your passport, and that's uh, absolutely obvious. Now, friends, uh, there is an important thing to consider about your passport as well. Make sure that at the time of your application, when you are applying for job seekers visa, you have to put in your passport. And then once you put your passport in the website for uh, getting an appointment in VFS or uh, for any reason, you are not allowed to change that passport number at all. So just in case, if your passport validity is going to expire in say let's one and a half years or something like that, I would rather recommend you please get your passport renewed. Now there is some special reasons about it. First of all, the website, uh, the checklist of this JSV says that your documents, your passport should be valid for minimum of one year from your expected date of return. So what does this mean? Let's say you get your job seekers visa on 1st of January and your expect well your expected date of return will be much maybe years together but officially documented date of return is six months after 1st of January. So February, March, April, May, June. So that means your passport should be valid for minimum one year after 30th of June, right? So that is when you get your visa, when you are traveling, your passport should be valid for minimum one and a half years. Now this could land you in unpleasant times uh, because it happened with me only. So what happens friends, first of all, when you apply for job seekers visa, you really don't know how much time it is going to take for you to get the visa, right? So it may happen that in the worst case scenarios, you may take, it may take close to eight months or even one year to get the visa. And as I told you just now, in case if you have already uh, written your passport number in the form, you are not allowed to change it at a later stage. Or maybe if you change it, you never know uh, where your application will land in. So it, there could be extra complexity and may lead to extra waiting time then. So I would rather request you or suggest you, if you are having any such situation wherein your passport is going to expire in a couple of years also, then it is always better to get it renewed and then apply for your job seekers visa application. Now there is a possibility friends that like in my case my passport expired after one and a half years and then I had to renew it while I was in Germany. Well that is not a very tough procedure, it is qu quite a laid down procedure but it is costly. It takes close to 105 euros which may be more than uh, 9000 or 8000 rupees. Apart from that, it takes almost like 40 days to renew your passport in Germany. I did it from Frankfurt Embassy and then uh, it's, it's, uh, it's 
there are there are better ways to handle this situation so i would rather request you or suggest you if your passport is going to expire get it renewed and then apply for job seekers visa now the second point is uh, your uh, document uh, the the photocopies of passport so first of all friends there is a big confusion amongst many people that do we require color photos color uh, photocopy of the passport not at all nobody asks you to give you uh, give color photocopies of your passport data pages better make uh, black and white photos and that is more than enough now as a baseline friends i would suggest you take at least three copies of every document let's say for passport you have to print a front page back page and between them the data pages whatever page you are printing make at least three copies at least i would rather uh, suggest you make four copies keep the fourth copy in a separate folder but make uh, three copies of every document now why i'm saying so is because you never know when a document is lost or uh, uh, in case if you have uh, misplaced the document at the time of your job seekers visa interview you may land into panic situation even if you don't get in case if you don't find your document at the right place better make four copies of every document the next point talks about your biometric photo so friends don't get confused with this word biometric biometric is just the name of a dimension which german government always tells you uh, instructs you or advises you to take photos in biometric size only so ideally if you just google what is biometric photo i'll show you in uh, in the la in the laptop screen right away it's just normal thing the only thing is your photo should be very clear there should be kind of a dark background or contrasting background if you are too fair then your background should be a little you know dark and if you are too dark then your background should be a little light and things like that so it's not very tough to achieve but make sure that your biometric photo corresponds to the size and the regulations and uh, the dimensions which is clearly mentioned in the german website the next thing is cover letter friends trust me cover letter plays the most vital role in you getting your job seekers visa in fact for any visa cover letter or the motivation letter plays the most vital role this letter gives you a chance to show your capabilities your readiness uh, your your efforts to search job in germany and your seriousness i have made separate video on cover letter friends uh, cover letter means motivation letter also i strongly recommend you please have a look at that video i'll post the link there on the website on on top as well as uh, in the description cover letter is most important friends make sure you make perfect cover letter i have already seen more than half dozen uh, cases wherein just because of failure in mentioning their efforts in cover letter they landed into trouble the most important parameters that your cover letter should clearly show are your plan uh, plan for your job search plan for your accommodation in germany your funds that you have in your bank and uh, the efforts that you have already made uh, to search job in germany apart from that about your german language skills as well so just in case if you have any uh, certificate uh, received from any local institute or um, uh, the best thing is goethe institute then you should clearly mention in your cover letter that i am in the process of learning german and very soon i'll be fluent in german language make sure you clearly mention it friends this point is going to uh, be kind of a most supportive point for you to get the job seekers visa now the fifth point talks about your academic qualifications so friends academic qualifications means right yeah, your qualifications right from 10th 12th and your education background your degrees post graduation whatever education you have received please give all the documents here along with obvious uh, the photocopies as well now it also asks you to give a kind of a recognition that is a uh, anabin recognition for your uh, educations so friends i have made a, a very elaborate and a dedicated video on this topic please have a look at that video and make sure you get your anabin certificate now there is a couple of questions which are related here many people ask me that they have done post graduation as well as graduation obviously but the post graduation is not visible in anabin or it is not recognized in germany so how should we proceed so friends ideally there are two options one is if you can search job in germany based on your graduation only and not on your post graduation then that is a clear option because that is what i did i did my engineering as well as mba but that time in way back in 2020 mba was not recognized in anabin database so i clearly mentioned i did my mba from pune university and i clearly mentioned that uh, 
although i am done mba but my motive to search jo job in germany is based on my engineering and not on my mba i clearly mentioned in my cover letter and thereby i did not put any anabin certificate also uh, during my job seekers visa interview and it worked out friends so there is no harm in you putting uh, your anabin certificates only for your graduation and not for your post graduation but make sure that you don't hide your post graduation under no circumstances should you hide your post graduation even if it is there in anabin or not just in case if you are not eligible or not able to search your job on the basis of your graduation then you may consider going for the paid uh, certificate of equivalence from german authorities uh, which is entirely a different topic so i'll be making more uh, videos on that topic as well so stay tuned for that now the next point is about your uh, professional qualifications now in this case in this point friends you have to submit your proof of profession uh, experience see job seekers visa asks you or recommends you to have minimum 4 to 5 years of work experience because germany is looking for technical people uh, for stem uh, stem uh, profiles that is science technology engineering and maths preferably with minimum 4 to 5 years of work experience so they need they need experts actually so in this uh, point you have to submit all the certificates or documents with which you can prove that you have 5 to 4 uh, to 5 years of minimum 4 to 5 years of work experience now what proofs you can give here so friends proof can be let's say your pay slips last 3 months pay slips that will be kind of a proof of your uh, professionalism that is you are engaged you are already uh, employed somewhere then there could be your contract letter for example appointment letter or there could be also some rewards or awards that you might have received from your company because sometime people receive some certificates well i never received any but still there you might be having some you can put them as well apart from this a major a very important point to note here friends is you have to submit these documents also from your previous employment so in case if you have done say four or three or four uh, profiles uh, three or four companies you have changed in last 5 years you have to submit all the documents of all your previous companies friends uh, this is most important to recognize that you have adequate amount of experience and you are eligible for job seekers visa make sure you do this it gives a complete list of your experience your previous profiles your in which areas you have worked in your key strengths and key skills blah 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 please have a look at the video i have shown above and as well as in the description i have posted the link i have also shared a template for the resume now friends many people will ask uh, what type of resume we should put it in uh, this job seekers visa so friends resume first of all is the same uh, whether for your job seekers visa interview you want to put or for applying to jobs in germany so resume is just the same because anyways it's only about you yourself only so it has to be same now for resume i have made separate video along with a template also i strongly recommend friends please use that template only uh, of course you can use it in english language of course in case if you are not fluent in german but make sure you use the german template because you know german hrs are are so much used to see their own template that they would love to see their own template all the times preferably go for that template please have a look at my video on resume as well now the next point comes is your proof of accommodation now proof of accommodation you require not only for germany but also for in india so for india uh, for your home country you have to put all the uh, uh, proofs that you can submit for your accommodation where you are staying right now your residence maybe your in case if you have purchased a house then you have that purchase contract or that um, that deed or deal or something that you do na for uh, uh, purchasing a house in case if you are rented the house then you have to show the rent receipts or you have to prove where you are staying in even in your home country the another big elephant in the room is how do you show your proof of accommodation in germany when you are in your home country so friends uh, i have made a separate video on the scams going on there is a huge 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 number of scams scamsters scamsters around uh mostly on facebook and also on ebay and some other websites as well so i strongly recommend first of all never pay even a single penny uh even a single euro uh in advance before physically seeing that property so how do you, uh, you how do you get your accommodation done in germany uh, when you are in your home country 
the best option that i see is try to connect with your uh, with your uh, your community people over facebook or on ebay uh, or on maybe whatsapp groups telegram groups there are so many options to connect to your community in germany from there you can have some personalized or maybe kind of a legitimate uh, uh, options you can find there and try to find accommodation through them other option is consider going for a temporary accommodation uh, in the start let's say in airbnb or uh, again i am not an advertiser of any hotel or anything but still i am giving you an options airbnb gives you uh, options to stay for uh, short duration for 10 days 15 days or maybe maximum of a month or so otherwise there is another option like booking.com is a website wherein you can book a hostel or a hotel without even paying a single euro in advance you they will only you know uh, check your credit card whether it is okay or not they might ask you uh, they might debit some amount maybe uh, some 1000 rupees or 500 rupees or something if you are from your home india and they will just check whether your credit card is actually active based on that they will book multiple uh, they will book hotel or hostel for you that's another good option but again it has to be a temporary accommodation only because friends you have to do registration that is anmeldung uh, at soon as possible when you reach in germany now some people will ask that i have landed in a state in a city in germany and i don't know where i'll be going uh, uh, because uh, i'll be searching job in complete germany so i don't know where i'll be establishing myself so do i need to do anmeldung uh, in this confusing uh, phase of time so friends you have to do there is no such exception you will get based on this reason that uh, you don't know where you will be staying after some time after getting job you have to do anmeldung at the soonest possible and there is no exception at all unless and until you are you are coming to germany for less than 90 days your visa is less than 90 days then you need not do anmeldung else if your visa is for more than 6 months that is 180 days you are uh, publicited publicited means you are mandated you have to do anmeldung at the soonest possible now comes proof of finances so friends for the proof of finances you have to submit Uh, your bank account details they want to check whether you have enough amount to sustain yourself while you are staying in germany so ideally friends previously there used to be only a bank account option wherein you had to show minimum uh, somewhere around 1000 euros per month that is uh, the equivalent amount in inr or uh, whatever currency in your home country is multiplied by 1000 euros multiplied by 6 times because you will be staying in 6 uh, 6 months now this 1000 euros figure Uh, it's maybe uh, 980 or something it includes your accommodation as well so uh, it includes almost every uh, cost that you are going to incur expectedly going to incur in germany so make sure you have enough amount in your banks nowadays they are also offering blocked accounts so blocked account is also an option there is multiple companies like fintiba or corkel and uh, uh, deutsche bank kotak you can just try out with every bank and ask them and just check out uh, what are the terms and condition and whichever suits you the best you can go for a blocked account as well so it's entirely depend on you now again friends for this finance money related stuff i have made another video please have a look there uh, i have shared multiple uh, aspects of you know uh, money matters regarding job seekers visa now coming to the next point the next point talks about your personal status your social status within india or your home country So for example if you are married then you have to show the details or the status of your wife as well or your spouse as well and in case if you are blessed with kids then uh, all the documents will be required for your kids as well So friends in my case I was uh, married and uh, blessed with kid so I had to show all the documents for my wife as well along with my kid So that includes my marriage certificate then the birth certificate of my wife my kid and everything has to be in English language Now in India they will even ask you to give your pan card or aadhar card or ration card so make sure whatever you have in your in your pocket or in your bag please put everything in job seekers visa interview checklist documents checklist make sure you don't lose or miss out any document just to play safe instead of you know landing into trouble make sure you have all the documents ready and then go for job seekers visa interview now as usual when you are flying to any foreign country you have to get insured you have to do a travel insurance as well as a health insurance now for this topic again i have made a exclusive video please have a look at there uh, i have detailed all aspects of insurance there 
and make sure you buy a legitimate insurance from the from the list of uh, authorized insurance providers that german embassy suggests apart from that your insurance should be valid for complete 6 month and i would rather uh, suggest you friends don't play with days don't play with hours when you travel when you uh, when you travel preferably travel after 6 uh, hours or one day after your insurance starts just to play safe because i have seen many people who have landed into trouble just because they wanted to save one day and they traveled uh, one day before the travel insurance started and they landed landed into troubles make sure you don't make such mistakes now coming over to the last part of this checklist this document that is the 12th document is your demand draft dd so friends dd is uh, mandatorily clearly given that you have to give a 75 euros dd for people like you and me who come from maharashtra we have to pay additional dd of inr 45000 rupees ha too much amount too big amount i know but there is no escape route friends you have to give you have to pay to uh, to uh, prove your trustworthiness uh, so at the uh, at the bottom line is you have to pay two dds one will be for 45000 inr and the other will be for 75 euros again for this stuff i have made multiple videos please have a look at my jsv interview uh, day uh, list uh, video wherein i have enlisted where i have clearly mentioned what to do with dds how to make and uh, it's always better as a bottom line wanted to tell you it's always better to make a dd just two or three days before your interview because the euro rate keeps fluctuating and the 75 euro price might be changed the day you will do your interview okay friends so that was all for today i hope that i was able to make clear the list of documents the checklist and all other aspects related with the checklist thing in case if you have any doubts or any questions please feel free to post them on your youtube uh, youtube comments and as usual i request you please subscribe to my channel and share this video see you and bye bye